Hi everybody, this is T3 Readings and today this reading is going to be for Taurus. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Let's see what are the messages that pop out for you. Taurus from October 11th till October 20th. Do check out the extended version of this for further clarifications and as well as how's your person feeling, what is the outcome of the situation between the two of you, advice, oracle card messages, what are the coming up energies, what is the future, what is the general advice for you as well as the self-love notes and general love notes for you. So do check it out. It's going to be linked in the description box. We have High Priestess, Knight of Pentacles and the Ten of Swords. I feel like you're letting go, you're letting go, you're trying to let go, but again, uh, something is bothering you, okay, something is bothering you. I feel like a lot of you are trying to do the inner work, you are trying to, you know, take it step by step towards something, definitely, you know, headed towards something, let's see. be dealing with the Aries Capricorn um, um, I feel like you're taking control back you realize you're realizing that there was a situation that was very toxic for you to deal with um, you're taking control back but I feel like something is consuming you mentally you could you would be finding yourself thinking about something like day and night day and night but I feel like there's that something is consuming you like your thoughts are consumed maybe because um you want to reconnect with somebody there is that energy of you willing to reconnect but the two of cups to me is looking mutual i feel like this is like this is a connection with your, where where there is love there is attraction there is everything okay but let's see queen of cups yeah you love this person you love this person Taurus, don't tell me that you don't. You do. And I feel like, let's see, why is it all happening or what's up? What happened in the past? The matter ones in the reverse. Okay. So, yeah, I feel like this, I don't know how to explain this. It looks like, um, it looks like they were playing games with you. They were playing games with you. And you were definitely the one, or you're still the one who is more mature, more caring, nurturing, okay? I feel like this person was coming across as somebody who just comes when they want to and leave when they want to. So there was that that devil and the knight of ones in the reverse energy. Uh, this could be just friends with benefit for them, but all this time, you know, you were falling in love. You were wanting a more deeper connection here, being like, oh my goodness, you know, I want this connection to be like this, 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 and that. But this person would always be like, okay, let's do this, let's do that physically, you know. Um, Empress, the Four of Pentacles in the reverse, and the Justice. So, Taurus, you definitely were seeing future with this person you wanted to be with this person long term maybe something just couldn't happen we have the emperor and the empress together in a reading so both of you i feel like both of you are not talking to each other right now but both of you want to and this is also looking like maybe this person was being wrong in the past but they want to make things right with the justice card and the four of pentacles in the reverse because they want to open up they were holding back in the past you would feel like they were neglecting you they were not giving you enough attention and now it does look like they want to make things right with you with the justice card could be a libra um you know what it looks like you're focused on your career finances goals they're focused on themselves nobody's chasing nobody but at the same time i feel like you would like to reconnect with them uh, more than reconnecting they they want to make things right so whatever that means um and more about the justice got the death maybe things came like something came to an end here because of somebody not being open tell me more about that death card magician 
I feel like a lot of you are losing hope in this connection. That's why you're focused on yourself. There could be involvement of other people in this. I don't see you making the first move. However, that doesn't mean that you don't want to talk. You definitely want to talk, but it's just that you're not making that first move towards this person or to make things right here. You're not really going out of your way to um, make things right, honestly. So we do have the death card, the justice and the magician. And the ace of wands. So I feel like this person is making a comeback but you don't think that they will. So maybe you're you're trying to accept the fact that it's over, but again, there is that feeling inside of you that don't, the, like you don't want it to be over, but you have to accept because this person isn't showing up the way you want them to. But again, this person will like surprise you. They'll be like, hey, I'm back again. Because there is that energy of the Ace of Wands and the Magician. So I feel like you are not expecting this, but it is coming in. Of cups. See, you're not expecting this. You are feeling sad, feeling dissatisfied with your love life right now. Other things could be going fine. Yeah. Some of you are trying to work a lot as a way to um, distract yourself from this because we did have the devil energy. There's something that you're very focused on. Okay. There is something that you're very, very focused on. But again, I feel like you're feeling dissatisfied with the way things are going in your life right now. Um, you don't feel like this person is going to return, but you're, you're not going to chase them, right? I feel like a lot of you are trying to let go. You, you could be removing yourself from the situation, trying to let go. You're definitely trying to change your perspective. Um, you could be looking at things the way they are. Or maybe some truth came here, okay? You had an awakening. You feel like you cannot do anything to make things happen with them because they're, they're like, it, it looks like this person is very stubborn and you feel like you cannot make this person do anything, okay? You cannot make this person do what they don't want to do. So you're just leaving it be and I don't see you actually chasing them. Um... I just see that you'll be focused on yourself. You'll be focused on your goals, okay? Doing what you need to do. And slowly but surely, you could be trying to let go. I feel like sometimes you want to reach out to, to this person, but then you hold back. You tell yourself that you cannot. Something is burdening you at the back. Like, yeah, something is burdening you. You have the hermit. Yeah, maybe the silence. You're waiting for this person. Something is burdening you. Tell me more about this. What about the person Taurus is dealing with? Six of Wands. Page of Cups. See? We have the Page of Cups, Six of Wands, and the Ace of Wands together coming from your, for your person. So this is definitely somebody who I see them wanting to talk i see them wanting to take things forward with you you, you oftentimes you would find this person to be <laughs> like they're all about themselves and they don't really listen to other people they do what they need to be doing but they're coming in with that energy like you know they are coming in there's somebody coming in towards you okay sometimes you you fe you'd feel like this person's like my way or the highway types i do feel like they're returning But I feel like you're the more you're the one who's more in love, okay? This person finds you attractive. They like, yeah, they're very flirtatious with their energy, but you'd find them to be a little bit superficial or a little bit not like they're not wanting the same things as you. Let's get you one more card to close off the reading. We have the four of wands. So Taurus is focused on their stability. They're, they're focused on clarity. I feel like whatever clarity there is that you want is coming in towards you. You just got to be open to receive it. 
Uh, I feel like you could be saving up money. You could be focused very much on your finances, goals, career. There is balance. There is harmony in the future for you. So if you if you're somebody who hasn't been feeling good in terms of your emotions, I feel like in the future, there's some sort of clarity coming in towards you that is gonna clear things out for you, and you're gonna feel much better in the future. Maybe when this yeah look I was just oh look at that I was just talking about this look at all this these cards at the bottom of the deck for you I just said that you get some sort of a clarity um, this person is gonna be communicating with you okay but I feel like this you want this person to be more responsible but they're just not that they're not that. I don't know how else to put it. They're just not ready for that role that you want them to be. Like you want them to be more mature, but they're just not. They're page, they're the knights. They're not anything more than that. It's not looking like they're more mature with their feelings. You'd find them to be very like wishy-washy with what they say. You find it hard to trust them, but you still want them, right? So whatever, whatever it is that you want is coming in towards you with full force. Like this person is literally coming in towards you, which I told you before that you'd find this person to be like a little, little bit like, you know, in your face kinds like, hey, I'm back, like respond to me, talk to me, you know. And if you don't listen to them, I feel like they they kind of like give you the silent treatment and it's a little bit toxic in the energy, which you do recognize. But I feel like you're not ready to get rid of it yet because you still feel very connected to them. Let's get you some Romance Angel Oracles. And the rest will clarify in the extended for you. In the extended, we're gonna see how's your person feeling, what is the outcome of the situation, advice for you, love notes, self-love messages, Oracle messages, what is there to come for you. We have let go of control issues, allow the situation to unfold naturally. I feel like the moment you let go is the moment this person is going to appear in your life. We have finances and career, definitely. You're focused more on yourself. You're trying to let go by focusing on your, you know, on other things in your life. And we have one more that fell on the floor. Let me grab it. Okay. Oh, this one says trust. Yeah, you've lost hope in this, but I feel like expect the unexpected with this reading because you you don't trust this person enough, but you still want them. Or maybe you don't. I don't know. It's up to you. But I feel like you definitely are losing hope in this. But the thing is, they're rushing in. So that's about it, Taurus. Those were the messages that popped out for you. Do check out your extended for further clarifications. It's going to be linked in the description box. Give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. Do let me know if it resonated with you. Take care and bye-bye.